All right, Jose, we're recording. Uh, I know you're oh, probably getting ready to get busy. So, I'm making from... go. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jose, Jose from Stoke in Easton is here. Thank you for coming on. How's it going? Hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. How you guys doing? Welcome. We're good. We're hanging in there. We, we missed that circle. We missed the Eastern circle behind you, for oh, sure. Oh, hey, guys, I'm on the circle, and I missed the circle. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's that sad, you know? What is but, it like um, there? Is it pretty, it's pretty you know, guys, the traffic is down? Uh, you know, you see a few cars. I, I got to say that the people in Easton have really respected the, um, the stay-at-home ordinance, and, and you really don't see nobody outside. Uh, you yeah. see, you know, our customers coming here to Stoke or the Bayou, but there's mm -hmm. really no traffic whatsoever on, on the circle, at least late in the evening. Uh, is that weird? Is, that seem, is it like, it, does it seem creepy or eerie? It's, 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 it's scary is the word. You yeah. Know, like, you, you miss the voices. I, I miss the assholes. I miss the people <laughs> screaming, fighting. Uh, you know, coming drunk out of the bars, you, you, none of those noises exist anymore. Yeah. You know, yeah. so it's a really weird, really weird feeling when you're walking out of soap yeah. at 8 o'clock at night, you know, because that's the time I close. Do you, are, are you, uh, but you're, you're open, right, obviously? You, we're open every, that. we're open every day from 12 to 8 p.m. 12 to 8 p.m. And that's just mm -hmm. take out, right? Uh, that's take yeah that's take out delivery uh we do curbside if you don't want any type of contact you just open up your trunk or your door and we just you know put the food right in your car yeah how has that been how, how i mean i don't with everything considered how have you been doing you know what we got to be so grateful right now everybody has to be so grateful because you know i, I have something to do every day i can't imagine what it is to just have to be home every day so you know i'm not going to tell you that uh, you know we're making profit or anything like that i'm paying the water bill at least you know yeah. and i need water to make dough <laughs> yeah yeah you know? no, no we're, we're very grateful um you know our customers have just showed so much support people have you know they, they order twice three times a week i don't know how they do it just to make sure that you know we stay afloat yeah and well you're not only you're not only open and you're serving you know food for takeout you're you're doing things in the community too uh i do our good friend tim fry has kept us updated you're you're donating food you're helping out the community in other ways we, as well we on a, on a daily basis we pick either an organization a hospital a, a ward uh, police station, fire department, and we get food out pretty much on a daily basis. That's great. To so, some, to, to some group. And how how have people received the food? Obviously, they're happy, but is it are they overwhelmingly happy? Is it made an impact that you didn't expect? It's it's incredible. Like um, if you go to the hospitals, depending on what hospital, you'll see that like all the um, the, the, the candy machines and the soda machines are like empty. Because this is what the staff is eating because they're there for 14, 16 hour shifts. Yeah. So you show up and you say like, hey, I got some pasta, I got some pizza. They, they take that to like, to heart. They yeah. really do. It's, it's, it's a wonderful feeling. And you, you, mentioned, you mentioned the Bayou on the circle. You mentioned, some, and the other restaurants, do you sense a, a, a feeling of community bonding together in this? Oh my, oh my God, we're all, let me tell you something, we're all like brothers and sisters. We're all helping each other. Uh, the, 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 that's why I love Easton. I'm, I'm originally from New York, then I moved to Luzerne County, but I've been in Easton for the last eight years because of that, the sense of community. But right now, even more than ever, you know, all the managers have bonded. We, we help each other. Mike from Third and Ferry will go shopping. He'll call me, hey, I'm going, you know, to home or to, to uh, the food depot. Do you need anything? Melissa from the Bayou will call me and be like, hey, I got, you know, this. Do you want some? It's incredible. Incredible. Are you looking forward to, like, when this is, you know, downtown Easton, like you said, it's such a community. So many people love being down there. Can you imagine the party when we're able to safely – 
safely get back out again. I that oh. play, like they should shut down the circle. <laughs> I was let me tell you something. I was already talking to the mayor about that, and we were saying we're gonna shut down the circle. It's gonna be a huge party, a huge party. You know, I, mean, I love course, I love Bethlehem, but downtown East is where you have you know if, if you shut down the circle and have a festival there, it, there's yeah. no other place like it. Of course, we're gonna do it safely, <laughs> at arm's reach from everybody. <laughs> When this huh? is over, there'll be new guidelines and mm -hmm. restrictions on, on how to congregate in public. Yeah. Know? Hey, Jose, but you're also running a, a gift card special, right? Yes, guys. Um, we are doing right now $50 value gift cards for only $35. What? Yes. So, and you can use yeah. them right away. Okay, yeah. and they and they don't expire. Okay, so this will be running through the uh, end of the month. So I hope you guys, I hope everybody takes advantage of it. We do this for Christmas. We do this every Christmas, but we thought it was a good idea to do it now, so people can just have the opportunity. A lot of people just want to find a way to support us, not necessarily buy food right right now. So just buy a gift card back george that stoke is where i went to uh help with the thanksgiving meals that okay. Jose comes out to the homeless people it's, Let's go. I, well, I, it's so funny that you started off with saying how you miss like the drunks and stuff when, when you have like your first drunk group of people come in are, are you gonna be not mad like for that um, first one you're gonna be like thank god like i missed you guys you know <laughs> i was talking to my bartenders you know we do on Fridays and Saturday nights, we do like, you know, dance parties. And you know, my bartenders would complain how they get so aggravated when people like start banging on the bar, like, hey, hey, or they start whistling, like, you know, like you're a dog calling you like you're a dog. We were like, damn, we really miss her. <laughs> <laughs> so when we do reopen and that happens, we're probably gonna let it slide. Yeah. And smile. Like the yeah, like the first day, and then after that, it's back to normal. Well, Jose, speaking of your bartenders and your staff, how are they doing? And how much? How how important is it for people to still, uh, you know, take care of their local restaurants and small businesses? Uh, because a lot of the help can go to the to to the staff, right? Who's you know in trouble too. So you know, we are. I'm I'm in touch with everybody on staff, and we have at least half of the staff working some type of hours, either whether it's five hours or 10 hours a week, just to keep them around. But you know what, this is all we do. This is our career. Yeah. You know, this is not our job, this is our career. So it's very important that we support, you know, not just downtown Easton, but all these little, you know, places, because these people, this is how they make their living. This is how they're supporting their kids. This is how they're paying for their children's schooling. This is how they're doing it. Right. And it's so important please support us. On the other side of this, that Stoke Pizza that you everybody loves so much, you're gonna want that to be there for uh you're gonna wanna get many pies when you're oh, <laughs> you need to eat so much stuff. Like I, I get some uh takeout from some of my favorite restaurants around me, but I can't wait to go like back to Easton, you know? Yeah. Somewhere, go downtown and just and sit around with friends and have a meal, so. I can't wait to just roam around the dining room, touch every table, see how everybody's doing. I'm a hugger, so I'm going <laughs> yeah. right now through some, some crazy stuff right now, like, like I, I, it's like a drug, like I'm, I'm like twitching. <laughs> I can't wait till those days come back and so I can see our guests, you know, hug them, see how they're doing, you know, make sure that their food is okay. Like, I love taking care of people. We love taking care of people here at Stoke. I can I'm, I'm, that. Just... Jose is a very accommodating, uh, you know, restaurant owner every time I've gone there. But I've gone there with the star, Tim Fry. So, but we get, uh, so he, he, he's very, oh boy. Yeah, that's, your, that's your buddy. But he's no, you're. He's really wonderful people, I gotta say yep. so. All right, well, we'll let you get back to making the dough. Because I'm we want to make sure. Look. There it is. Like Fred. I love that you Fresh took the time because it looks like you're in the street because you got your well, background there. I think that's my background, yeah. I know, it's great. Jose, where can people find you uh, social media-wise? Uh, Stoke has... Um, 
we have uh, stokofirepizza.com is my website. Stoko Fire Pizza on Facebook. Stoke Easton on Instagram and Stoke After Dark and it's, for, and the it's naughty, for the for the for the naughtiness that happens usually when I have my parties. <laughs> but <laughs> I gotta get to one of those. Yeah, they're they're a lot of fun. All a right. lot of fun. Um, well, right, okay. Thanks for doing everything you're doing for the community. We can't wait hey, to see you on the other side of this. Hey guys, I want to say thank you very much for having me on the show. But most importantly, I want to say thank you to my staff. I love them all. And our customers, you guys rock. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. We might have a special. We get a special goodbye here. Oh, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. A, a special guest appearance. Last minute, jump in on. Oh, we get loyal customers in the building. Uh, I heard Jose was in the house, so I had to come. <laughs> hey! hey did you just... <laughs> What's up, my brother? What's up? How you doing? Oh, doing great, man. Doing great. How are you? Um, good. I'm so happy on, to be on this show. Thank you so much. Did we talk? You know what's funny is I think we bring up Stoke in every single episode <laughs> at some point or other. That I'm like, the worst part about this quarantine is that I don't have Stoke whenever I want it. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's the things you realize you you you, you could have had whenever that now. Oh you can. man! Yeah, it's convenient. The, the the things we realize. There's so much I'm realizing, guys. It's it's yeah. we're as 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 a whole. As, right. But like this world. is the time of year where you, you you start to be able to sit outside on a on a Saturday afternoon in downtown Easton or whatever. Yeah, just and, have a drink uh, and hang out. And just so, hang out. People watch. It's true. I think I've had I've had every major life event in the past two years <laughs> at the bar at Stoke. <laughs> Jose, it was it was I was, the, I was the first one to know that he was having a baby. That's true. He <laughs> first, not, but not only was he, not only was he the first one to know, I didn't tell him. Britt and I, it was Valentine's Day. The day we found out she was pregnant was Valentine's Day, and we went to Stoke to go just have have something to eat or whatever. We sit at the bar, and Jose's like. I think, are you pregnant? Like he like he like absorbed somehow from her that she was pregnant and he knew. So he was the first person, and then she was prematurely born. We we still brought her there at like two and a half weeks old. She's a stoke yeah. baby. She's a stoke baby. Yes, she is. Absolutely. Can't wait till life gets back to normal. Did I come See, in I at the end? Did I come in at the end? Yeah, yeah. yeah we were just, it's all right, though. We, all right, we, uh, we were, we're finishing up. We wanted to say, you know, thanks to him. We can't wait to – I haven't been to one of the dance parties, so uh, I'm going to take advantage of that when this is all over. Real quick, before oh. we let Jose go, Tim, as, huh. a lo as one of the most loyal customers, I mean, he – Yeah, give us – uh, He basically made Britt pregnant with his mind. I don't know if <laughs> – <laughs> Right, right. Uh, but, okay, what – Right now, when when this all stops, what's mm -hmm. the Stoke meal you're going to go get, top to bottom? He's going to get wings. Yeah, <laughs> wings. So it's wings. It's a uh, spinach and garlic pizza. These are salad. Um, they have a name for it. It's it's like you know spinach and aglio. There you go, spinach and aglio, Caesar salad with chicken, glass of Jack Daniels with some with some ice. <laughs> That's my meal. Not bad. That's my go-to meal. I, get, I also get the same he thing every single time. <laughs> it never changes up. It's chill. He's not lying. <laughs> That's oh, great. Man. All right. We got to let Jose make some pizza, guys. Yeah. Okay, hey, go guys. check out the show. Go get a gift card. You Boy, know, it's a great see. deal right now. Take care of your small business. Jose, thank you very much. Keep doing what you're doing. We love you, man. Thank you, everybody. And I love the Valley. Love you guys. Thank you.